The Magic Cap Once in a town not far away from the city lived Coco. He was a smart little boy. Coco's father owned a big shop of hats right in the center of the city. Although Coco was only a child, his father would often leave him in charge in his absence. Coco was a good salesperson and he was also good in maths. He often made good sales and made a decent profit. Coco's father too admired his skill, but he was also worried about his son. Dear, Coco told me about the profit made today. He's doing well, isn't he? Oh, I would love to see him become a great businessman someday. The boy has talent for sure, Kara. But we have to be cautious about his growing arrogance. What arrogance? He is good at sales. That's all. You worry too much. <sighs> Hello, Coco. Can I see one of those bowler hats? My father is taking me to a funeral and I have nothing to wear with my black suit. Bah. Bowler hats are for adults. How about you buy a witch's hat and wear that to the funeral? A witch's hat? Uh, won't that be a little wrong? What's wrong with that? The word you are looking for is different, my friend. It will be different for sure. It is a little more expensive than the bowler's hat, but this is what everyone is wearing these days. It's the new trend. It will look good on you. Oh, um, okay then. Come, let me show you. Look, father, I sold the witch's hat. See how much I earned? Oh, finally. That hat was lying with us for years. Who did you sell it to? Ben. Ben? Your friend Ben? What did he need a witch's hat for? He didn't. I created a need. Isn't that how you do business, Father? By creating a demand? Wait. I don't have a good feeling about this. What did you do? How did you create his need when he didn't have one? Oh, simple. I convinced him to buy that hat and wear it at some funeral he was attending with his father. You did what? Funerals are to pay our respect to the dead, Coco. You sent a little boy to a funeral wearing a witch's hat. It's a funeral, not a costume party. How does it matter? It was a smart deal. I made money out of it. Look, that's five bucks. Just because you made some money out of it doesn't make it a smart deal, Coco. You have to think about your actions. What would you do if his father comes here and demands his money back? I don't think that's fair. If Ben's father demands his money back, we have a straightaway say no to him. A deal is a deal. What Ben does with that hat is his lookout now. I thought you will be happy that I got rid of that stupid hat. Coco walked out of the shop in rage. He couldn't understand why his father wasn't happy. He did make good profit. On the other hand, Coco's father was increasingly getting worried about him. He somehow wanted Coco to understand that one must think about the consequences of their actions. That night, as Coco's father spotted a shooting star, he closed his eyes and wished for the well-being of his son. He wanted his son to think before he acts. The star heard his wishes. That night, Coco had a dream. Hello, Coco. Huh? Where am I? Who are you? I am a fairy, and I am here to give you a gift. 
A gift? Is it because of the smart deal I made today in the shop? I knew it! All right, here. This is a magic cap. Every time you wear it and take it off, you will find a gold coin inside. Wow! I will be rich! But remember, Coco, if you use this cap for more than three times, then in return for each coin, you will lose an inch of your height. Um, so I will keep getting shorter each time I get a gold coin? Okay. I will remember that. Use it wisely. Good morning, Coco. Wh what? Hope you slept, Will. Oh, yeah, I did. Mm. Looks like you are not mad at me anymore. That's good. Oh, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, fine. I am fine. Thank you. <laughs> I shouldn't have reminded you, I guess. You screamed at me when it wasn't even my fault. Coco, I hope you understand someday that whatever I do or say is for your own good. <sighs> anyway, your mother and I are going out of town. We will be back by evening today. Be good, okay? But Coco did not respond. They don't understand how important it is to grab the opportunity. My only focus is to make profit out of these caps. Wait! My magic cap! Where is my magic cap? Coco got off his bed and looked around. Suddenly, he saw something under his pillow. My magic cap! Coco excitedly put it on his head and took it off. The cap had a golden coin inside. Coco was very happy. Now I will be richy, richy, rich. <laughs> Let me do this again. He hurriedly placed it on his head again and took it off. There it was, another gold coin. Coco very well remembered what the fairy had said to him. If you use this cap for more than three times, then in return for each coin, you will lose an inch of your height. Hmm, this much is enough for the week, I guess. I will use it once again when Mom and Dad come back home. They will be so excited! Coco carefully kept his cap in the closet and went ahead with his daily activities. He felt very happy, but he constantly kept thinking about the cap in the closet. No matter what he did, he could not take it off his mind. I should really get a haircut done, but I don't have any money. Um... What do I do now? Well, I can use the cap, but then I want to wait for Mom and Dad. They will be thrilled to see how lucky their son is. But wait, I am not a kid to show a magic trick, am I? Why don't I show them the money instead? Yeah, I will use the cap one more time and show them three gold coins. Coco did as he pleased. He was very happy to now have three gold coins in his hands. But... Hmm, just three gold coins aren't enough. And if you think about it, I am taller than all my friends. Maybe losing one inch won't hurt too much. And that's what happened. Coco found another coin and in return lost an inch of his height. See? This isn't much to lose. Nobody will ever find out that I lost an inch. Well, one, two, three, and four. I am just not happy with it. I would look too silly to hand over only four coins to my parents. If I am losing my height, I must at least make a fortune over it. Also, I am very young. I have a lot of time to increase my height. 
I have to make the most of this deal. Without thinking about the result, Coco went on taking out money from the cap. And soon, there was a heap of gold on the floor. Woohoo! Look at that! Now this is a smart deal. I will grow my height back in a few months and still be rich. Ugh, now I can peacefully go back to sleep. But Coco hadn't realized one thing. Huh? Oh no! It had taken years for Coco to grow tall, and he traded it away in minutes. Wait, which means I will get my height back in years now? Oh no, oh no, what do I do? How do I get my height back? I, I can't do anything. I can't reach my bed, I can't reach the kitchen counter to grab cookies, and I can't even go to the shop. No! Coco quickly took the cap out of the cupboard again and shook it hard. He was scared to put it on his head, so he grabbed the gold coins lying on the floor and tried to put it back in the cap. Take it! Take all your money back! Take your gold! Make me tall again! Please! Do something, you stupid cap! Coco shoved the coins so hard that the cap torn away. <laughs> what do I do now? <laughs> After crying for several minutes, Coco fell asleep and had another dream. Coco, where are you? I am here. Look down. Oh my, what have you done? I told you not to use... I know, but... But I just wanted to make a smart deal. I thought losing an inch of my height for one gold coin was the easiest way to become rich. Coco, making a smart deal does not always mean to choose the easy way. You have to think before you act. You have to think about the result of your action. Tell me now, does it look like a smart deal to you now? No, not at all. It feels careless and stupid of me to trade my height. Exactly. Had you thought about this then, you would have chosen the right path. I know. I have realized my mistake. Now, tell me, what do you want me to do? I can take the cap back, and you will be as tall as you were. Nothing will change. Or, you can keep the gold and wait for years before you gain your height back. No, not a chance. Take the cap and all your gold back and make me as tall as I was. Nothing has to change. We have a shop and I am still in school. I will earn my own gold and I know my parents will be happy. That's a good choice, Coco. There you go. When Coco woke up, he found himself on the floor. When he stood up, he realized that he was back in his old, tall body. Just then, the doorbell rang. He ran to open it. Eee! Daddy! Oh, <laughs> how long were we gone for? I am sorry, Daddy. I understand now. You were right. Just because it sounds easy doesn't mean it's a smart deal. I will always think about the effects of my action. Ah, oh, you realized it on your own? Maybe I should leave you alone more often now. No, never! Coco held his father tight and promised to never act without thinking about the future. The End